Hello, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to see how to create the displacement texture maps in Maya. Using this, we can create the realistic textures. Like for example, if you create any wall or something, just if you want to create a more realistic wall without modeling it, so we can use this displacement map. So for this tutorial, we are going to use these textures. So there are three types of textures in this, like one is diffuse, displacement, and the normal. So we will see how to combine these three materials and create realistic texture. So we'll go into the Maya and first we'll create a plane. So assign the material, right click, assign new material, Arnold, a standard surface. So after applying the materials, just we need to browse the texture. So selecting this plane, we can go to this a standard surface. And here you can see there is an option like color. So we need to browse on this, go to the file and click on this. So select the diffuse texture from this thing. So select this and click on open. So now you know to see the texture, we can press six here. So now you can see we got this texture, but what the thing is when I render, I want to see like a realistic uh, stones kind of things. Like it has to like create a bump over this plane model here. So what we have to do is first of all, make sure you increase number of segments to let's say just we can increase number of segments. Don't increase more high. So like that's fine. And also now we'll see just we'll create the render. So we can create the light from this thing like sky dome light. And now see first we'll render. So we got this like flat texture. So we'll see how to apply the normal and displacement map for this material. So in order to do that, just we can go to hypershade. So we can go to windows rendering hypershade. And if you double click on this texture, which we have created, you can double click. And here, if you want to see the graph, you can right click and you can see this graph network. So now this is the material which we have created. And now what the thing is we need to like import the normal maps and the displacement map into this uh, thing. So there are two ways, uh, either you can press tab and just you can type file, you can select the file. And here in the file, you can browse the texture or else you can directly drag and drop. So I will show how to drag and drop. So now this is the texture and this is a normal like diffuse and normal. So we need to drag into this. And just we have drag. And now see we got this uh, like normal and we got this like diffuse. So what we need to do is just I will maximize this. So here, uh, like first we need to create a normal shader. So by pressing tab, we can use this like normal shader, a normal map and select this. And first we need to like connect this out color to this input. And here we need to connect this out value to this normal camera. So now we'll see what are the changes going to be applied for this thing. So what I will do is, uh, I will save this render so we can click on this. First we'll save this render. Uh, like we can go to file and keep image in render view. So we can click on this so that we can see before and after. So now we'll render this. So if you see, you can uh, like, you got the little bit of bump over this thing means like see before it was very flat and after applying the normal map, we got this like a uh, little bit of shadows over these corners, which will look uh, more realistic. But if you want to create more bump, so we need to create the displacement map. So in order to do that, just we can go to the material and before like save it. And now we need to connect this displacement map to here a standard surface. So we should not connect directly. So we need to take a displacement uh, shader. So we need to take this. And now what the thing is just, we cannot directly connect this out color to the displacement. Uh, we need to connect only one of the channel. So most of the time the red channel will contains more white and black. So we need to select this red channel and connect to this displacement. And now what the thing is this out, we need to connect it to displacement shader. And here we need to delete this. And after that, we need to make some changes. Uh, so what the thing is like, we need to select this object, which we have created. And in this, like uh, what we say, like plain shape, we have to come to this tab. And here we need to come to this Arnold. So in this Arnold, if you come down, you can see there is an option like subdivisions. And here we have to select the type to catalog. And here we can increase the number of iterations. So that what the thing is like, it depends how much detail you want to create the texture. So let it be like, like four or something. And also if you come down, you can increase the height, but let it be like a default. So we'll see what are the changes going to be applied. So we will save this texture. So this is a normal map. So we will keep image. And now once we'll render this, 
So now you can see the shape of this object has been changed a little bit. So see here we corner the previously when we apply the bump mapping, only normal map. It was still flat, flat at the corners and we got still like more shadows. Now what the thing is, see, we got this little bit of bump. So if you want to increase the bump, so just we can go to the shader. And here you can select this displacement shader. So in the attribute, you can see there is an option like scale. So like we can give the scale. Let's say, for example, we can give to three or something. And now we'll see. So just I will keep this image. File, keep this image. And now again, render. So see, we got this nice bump. We got more realistic looking uh, rocks here. If you want more, you can increase the scale. So you can play with this value. So you can select this. Let's say, suppose if I give the value to like six or something. Now if I render, so see, you got this more bump over here. So you can play with your values. Uh, so until you are like satisfied with the bump. And also here we can increase and decrease the height. So, so suppose if I select this object and here in the displacement attribute, you can increase the height. So suppose if I give the value to like three or something, so we can see like, So see the height has been increased. So which will look like more kind of mountains kind of things, but it, it's not uh, more realistic. So it depends on your situation. You can use this height. So for this tutorial, just we can use this one and we can render this. So we'll get this realistic texture here. So in this way, we can create the displacement map in which we can avoid to create a lot more of mesh, which will get more load on the Maya scene or like any game. So we can uh, create the bump kind of uh, look by using this displacement map here. Hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.